<laughs> Too much for okay, me. Okay, so uh, kind of an unusual, uh, uh, unusual for the Wine Myth Club to feature uh, two wines from the same winery for the red and the white for the main thing, but it happens once in a while. And this is one of those because as interesting as the red is, I think the white is even more. Oh, absolutely, and it's kind of interesting because, you know, 10 years ago, I would say that 1% of the whites coming from the south of France were white. I mean, not if if 1%. Now it's amazing. It's going up and up and up because you know what? it's so good. The component that most of these things are coming up with that makes them so good, and we keep talking about how great they are, is this Grenache Blanc. Grenache Blanc. Absolutely. Absolutely. We just keep finding it. Because the Roussel has been around. It's kind of fat. You know, it's kind of tropical. v and the same. But this Grenache Blanc sort of cuts the mustard a little bit with it. Oh, well, Grenache Blanc, I mean, <sighs> first of all. It's so complicated. First of all, they're growing it in the central coast of Santa, uh, in Santa Barbara County, and it's unbelievable. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a staple in, in Spain, and now they're growing it in New Zealand and Australia and, and the south of France, and it's just absolutely a gorgeous grape. I'm getting a little licorice in it. Absolutely. No, I get it as soon as you said that. Little Annis. Beautiful bottle of wine. 19 bucks on the shelf. $12 reorder price. God, I'm at 98 on this one. I love this wine. It's oh, really, really good. Just it makes you want to go, wow, this is so. I got to taste it again. Did I just taste licorice in that? Did I just taste. Right. So there you go. There you have it, Ed. 